Time for school. Hey guys, good morning. It is 7.40 a.m. I just dropped off my son at school. I just got home. I don't really have much planned today. Today I'm gonna make some breakfast and make maybe make myself a cup of coffee. I figured out how I'm able to drink coffee. It has to have a lot of milk and it has to be regular milk, which is so weird because that's so unlike me. Normal me likes strong coffee, like straight up Cuban coffee. That's what I like. So, it's gonna be a busy week even though I'm off. I just, I feel like I have to do something every single day just because I go on a four day trip and then after that we are hopefully going on vacation. I don't wanna say where we're going just yet because it's, I, what if we don't get on the flights and stuff like that. So we are non-revving, so flying standby because it's way too expensive to buy a ticket. And if we don't make it on our flights, then I mean, we'll figure it out. But I think we should be fine. So yeah, oh, it's cold today. I don't even like talking about weather because I feel like somebody always gets mad at me for saying that it's cold where I live and it's like I'm still allowed to be cold okay it's still cold it's it's like in the 30s okay it's not it's not a competition it's not a competition it gets cold everywhere everybody gets cold so stop it anyway yeah it's kind of cold today but it's, it's weird because it'll get really cold in the morning and then it'll get warm during the day like I'm talking about like in the 70s and then it'll go up then it'll go back down at night so it's it's, re it's weird Texas weather is weird and I don't like it It is 1.50 p.m. and I have been doing a whole bunch of different YouTube stuff like I filmed four videos for you guys to have on the days that I won't be able to have any content up because I'll either be working or it's, it's when we're gonna be traveling so yeah I decided to just sit down and just like film those videos and hopefully have them up for you guys uh, today has been a busy day like I said I am not feeling very well it's morning sickness is making a comeback I'm telling you I'm telling you it's making a comeback I was feeling better and then now it's just I'm back to feeling like crap so yes I'm gonna go and run a few errands I have to go to Sephora and return something because I ordered something online and it was the wrong color so yeah, I have to go and return that and then also get a few travel stuff, travel size stuff and a few Christmas gifts. After that, I have to go pick up my son and go to the grocery store and then I have to go to Target. So busy day and then when I come home, I have to clean my house. I have been neglecting cleaning my house for the last few days and it's it's time. I need to, I need to really get to it. Just got back from Sephora and I didn't want to take my camera in there just because I'm weird and I got a few gifts but I'm not going to show them to you because the people that these gifts are for watch my videos but it was good stuff okay stuff I would normally use myself so for me I ended up buying two things for me and I got myself uh, the Fenty Beauty 
Stella lipstick or lip paint in Uncensored, which is the red shade. I feel like with the Christmas holidays coming up, I really want to have a new red lipstick. I have way too many red lipsticks and it's just, you can never have too many red lipsticks, you know? And then I bought myself um, a refill of my uh, first aid beauty ultra repair cream this is just like my go-to and I'm running out and since we are going out of town I want to make sure that I have it with me and that I don't run out when we're out of town and then I just redeemed my points and I got the Becca backlight priming filter which is the primer that I use anyway it's the one that I have on right now and I just wanted to get it because it is a $38 primer and I actually got it on sale and I can't get myself to spend $38 on a primer so I just got this one and it'll hold me over and then the Anastasia brow gel clear brow gel and uh, I've used this for years and I just haven't purchased it because I don't want to buy the $23 tube so I just wait until it's part of my reward points so call me cheap whatever but hey that's what the reward points are for right since I get a Sephora play box every month, the box brings a card and whenever you go to a Sephora, you give it to them and they give you 50 extra points. So that's one of the perks of having a Sephora play card. And yeah, so now I'm going, I need to go to Ulta because I have a coupon and I want to use it. I want to use it up and then go to pick up my son. All right, so I so I put on the lipstick and you know it's not that bad it's a little out there for me but apparently it's supposed to be like a universal red lipstick and it's not bad I like it I feel like it's gonna be perfect for work thank you girl thank you <laughs> so yeah I normally get them at the Tony Moly store in like Carrollton but um because they're cheaper there but sometimes it's just easier to go to the Tony Moly ones but these are good and I really came for these right here. Wait, no. Are they these? Hey guys, so just got to my son's school and I was just looking at my phone. I was looking at my pregnancy app and the app that I use is called The Bump. Well, I use plenty of apps, but like the, my favorite one is The Bump. But it was telling me that I am 12 weeks and two days pregnant and I wanted to show you guys so it says how big is baby P and it is as big as a plum can you see it's as big as a plum and it is two inches two inches and 0.4 ounces that is so crazy that I'm already 12 weeks because I start my second trimester next week that is so crazy so so I had to stop recording for a little bit because the line the pickup line started moving and then I feel a little weird having a camera out just because I feel like other parents are gonna be like uh why is there a camera why is there a lady with the camera in a car so yeah just I'm just gonna put it away but anyway baby P is doing great the organs are growing according to the app I do have my uh, one of my prenatal appointments coming up this week so we'll see how it all goes my bath and body works candle order finally came in it said it was going to be here later but it came earlier it came like a week earlier so here's a coupon oh. okay so i got mahogany teak wood because it's just this is just a staple in my house and along with the limoncello one, but I didn't get it this time around. I got the marshmallow fireside and this one. I can't remember. Oh, twisted peppermint. Ooh, I'm excited for this one since peppermint has been very helpful lately. So I was trying to record a clip earlier and my camera died. So we just left to go grab some dinner and go grocery shop for the week and yeah, so I wasn't able to vlog, but we went to BJ's and I had some avocado egg rolls because that's the only thing that sounded appetizing. When we went to the grocery store, it was so hard for me to keep it together. I don't know why, but going to the grocery store recently has been a torture. 
it just, I can't. It grosses me out so much. I don't know why. I don't know why. So, yeah, I just put, I just finished putting away the groceries and now I just have to kind of clean the house. It's getting on my nerves. So, yeah, I need, I need to do that. So George and I have been watching this show on Netflix. It's called Shot in the Dark. So it's like how media, right? There would be media. Hmm? There would be their media, right? Those guys. Yeah, they're like journalists who filmed like the events that happen at night in LA, you know, so before the morning news. So these guys will like chase cops and just pretty much any emergency that goes on at night and then they will try to get it on tape and then just sell it to the news the newscasters and it's kind of interesting just to see how it all goes on you know I never thought about how people get the clips for the news and yeah so then we're just eating some well I'm eating curly fries and some coconut sparkling water <laughs> 